Welcome to Capitan Morgan's War Games. I am a member of the Yeti Bears 40k War Gamers Unification Group on Facebook. I'll pop a link in the description below. This is the place to get your fix of anything 40k related. Welcome, and this is my summary of my last tournament event at Confrontation, Fourth Confrontation. This weekend just gone. Uh, I only played three games a year, had to cancel some with personal problems and woodwork and, uh, and that, so. But I lost all three games on Saturday. First game up was against Tyranids. And he got first turn, yeah, it was all eternal war missions and we were playing best up in the supply, supplies from above and he got first turn and of course uh, in my lines first turn and that just slowed me down. I got through, through him and turn two I had another lot and I made one mistake. Uh, I made my looters to get out, uh, the jump them to get out of uh, being tied in combat and I put them in a silly place but uh, again uh, I was limited to where I could put them. Uh, and it was an uphill battle in the end he won that. There was a minor victory, 13-7 uh, I think. Uh, so I went to game two and it was all called versus all called. Uh, very similar list to mine except he had two sags, uh, war boss on the bike and war boss uh, with a side, a side wall body but that and he had tutor boys as well rather than just all boys. Uh, again it was narrow research I uh, just unlucky. Uh, again, he got first turn, and to jump something and try to tie me up, and, uh, and it was close. But again, thirteen seven, which left me into my well third game of the day, and on the Saturday, and. It was against neck bombs. Uh, he had a pile on. He had.
which is the first time commutation has allowed 412, but they are allowed 412 now uh, in their singles events anyway. And uh, three doom size and a battalion of three three warriors and three three squads of ten immortals and a cryptic and isn't no are they oh the other the Nightbringer, uh, they had a Kutan Shard, and they also had uh, the one that Imatek, Imatek the Storm Lord. Now, I lost this game as well. Uh, I made a couple of mistakes in there, but, uh, but not as my opponent pointed out. concentrated on the immortal first day. I didn't I I wanted to get rid of that one doom side to A to stop the move block with the planes and B to stop the uh, immortal wound strat going off. Um first set of hits and Wounds I did got 14, but he, 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 he had a slightly better than average save, which meant I, I left, him with, left him with two wounds left on his doom side. So unfortunately, I had, when I shot again with the uh, strap on the looters, I was left with shoot, uh, having to shoot that again. Uh, had, it, had I shot had it been wiped out with that first shot of shoot, I could have then targeted the, the, uh, a set of immortals, which I didn't. And in his turn, he, he wiped out my grots and my looters. And that, that pretty much left me up against a war in a brick place, so I took out a set of immortals with my first set of boys and tied up one uh, and took out another plane uh, that kept a few wounds off the another few, uh, few wounds just keeping that uh, pylon in its mid bracket or low bracket, I think I took 19 in the first round and a few on the second round uh, He worked that set of boys, and then I my mistakes there were not the jumping the other two boys into the other two squads and finishing them off because had I done that, he wouldn't have had any uh, scoring opportunities. But I got stuck. I I had my boys on the objectives. So scoring points every turn from turn two and I, I got stuck on that idea. I think uh, it it sort of and that sort of backfired on me in the end. Uh, little disappointed. Uh, I didn't perform as well as I would have liked. The list was a uh, wasn't the list fault, it was my fault in navigating it. I mean, first two matchups was a uh, straight toss up. If I'd got first turn, I would have won. Last one, I, I lost because of the mistakes I made and the way I played the game in hindsight. But it's, it now leaves me, uh, which we'll see in the next video on what I do with this going forward and what my thoughts are of the list. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit the 
like button, press the subscribe button and hit the bell button to stay up to date with all my content. Also feel free to share anything you've enjoyed. Remember, everybody knows the dice are loaded.